For centuries, livestock keeping was the way of the Pokot people, and farming was considered the lowest possible economic venture. But increasingly frequent and longer droughts, and of course violent cattle raids with neighbors, is changing age-old perceptions. Lillian Limayang is tending to her five-acre plot where she grows pawpaws, maize and sorghum, which she then sells to nearby towns. I have planted 70 pawpaw trees. I plan to plant some more. They're about four months old now and I plan to start harvesting them when they're eight months old. Lillian is part of a group of 200 farmers in the West Pokot region, cultivating a drought-resistant pawpaw called the Maradol pawpaw. It's a high-yielding variety that was recently introduced in the region by the Food and Agriculture Organization. The reason why uh, FAO brought this project in West Pokot is because um, uh, the reports from the Ministry of Health indicated that the, the number of underweight, but the percentage of underweight uh, children was at 38 uh, percent and uh, the stunting was at 45 percent and um, this is because uh, most farmers uh, here are dependent on the maize, uh, meat and uh, milk and um, so the project intended to introduce the aspect of fruits and vegetables so that we can be able to improve the, the, the nutritional status. Over 3,000 pawpaw seedlings have been planted since and farmers buy seedlings for about 30 US cents at a nursery. People really like this pawpaw variety. It takes a very short time to mature. Everyone here wants to grow them. It's not like the local varieties that grow tall first before they produce fruit. This one produces fruit when still short. I have come here to buy popo seedlings because I've seen my friends benefiting from the fruit. They've planted it and their children are now healthy. And that is why I've also come here to buy some to get food for my children. And if the yield is good, I will also sell some to get some money. The nursery also offers improved grafted fruit varieties such as mangoes, bananas and watermelon, as well as vegetables like eggplant and okra. Traders say they're making good returns selling fruits to travelers using this main highway. One large pop of fruit sells for about one dollar. Business is good. What we're looking forward to now is to sell a variety of fruits like oranges, more popo and mangoes, more fruits like bananas and many others. The FAO says that the malnutrition rate has declined by about 5% since the project began. The fruit farmers are now working on plants to put up a processing plant where they can manufacture various fruit juices for sale, doubling their profits. Uche Okoronkwa, CCTV.